Cap Tukon. Today I want to take you to a journey through our banana garden and it will show you what we are doing. Dampoma. So what I'm doing with the with the bananas, with the glue ice, is if the leaf is like this, starting to get like dry already, I just cut it off. Because otherwise they will just hang down like crazy. And if the leaves are down like this, first of all I can't really see if we have a banana over there. Or it's like a, a perfect place for wasps or like for ants to accumulate. And if you want to harvest then bananas, it's not a lot of fun. And the other thing is, if the banana is looking like, like this already, then I have the feeling, okay, I'd rather take it outside because there might be, yeah, as you can see, bugs are already eating the bananas and I have to take it outside because if I just leave it inside, the bugs will just go to the other bananas and we don't want that because we want to have healthy trees and eat delicious bananas. This is a very beautiful banana and it will probably be ready in one or two weeks. And for the people who are scared of sugar from fruits, I never heard of a person who got diabetes or is overweight by eating whole fruits like this. Great, what are you eating every day? What am I? Oi! And if you want to eat really delicious bananas, then you harvest them when they are like this from the tree. And another really good reason is why to cut the dried leaves. It's a perfect ground cover for our soil. Because right now we don't have a lot of rain. Pudalaina. Sayonara,